Chromosome analysis is a powerful tool that has revolutionized our understanding of genetics and the disease. Stick around to learn more about this exciting field and its potential to improve human health. So, join us today as we explore the fascinating world of chromosome analysis and its many applications in modern science. The study of number and structure of chromosomes is called cytogenetics. For this, we have to prepare karyotype. A karyotype is an individual's complete set of chromosomes. Now let's discuss preparation of a karyotype. A visual karyotype is prepared by growing the cells in short term culture medium to the cell at metaphase of mitosis. A spindle inhibitor such as colchicin is added. This will cause the arresting of dividing cells at metaphase, now spreading the cells on a glass slide and staining with gem sustain. In modern practice, this step is replaced by digital imaging. Traditionally, a photographic positive is then made and the chromosomes cut out and assembled on a card in pairs in order of size, sometimes in conventional groups, which are from O, 2G, chromosome 1, chromosome 2, and chromosome 3, are in group A, chromosome 4, and chromosome 5, are in group B, chromosome 6, chromosome 7, chromosome 8, chromosome 9, chromosome 10, chromosome 11, and chromosome 12 are in group C. It also includes chromosome X, chromosome 13, chromosome 14, and chromosome 15 are in group D, chromosome 16, chromosome 17, and chromosome 18 are in group E, chromosome 19, and chromosome 20 are in group F, chromosome 21, and chromosome 22 are in group G. It also includes chromosome Y. Moving forward, chromosome consists of P arm, the shortest arm of a chromosome. Based on the distance from the centromere, the P comes from the word petit, the French translation of small. This is centromere. The centromere appears as a constricted region of a chromosome and plays a key role in helping the cell divide up its DNA during division, such as mitosis and meiosis. Specifically, it is the region where the cell's spindle fibers attach the long arm Q. It also has telomere. Telomeres are the protective caps located at the end of each chromosome in our cells. These structures consist of repetitive DNA sequences and specialized proteins that help maintain the stability and integrity of our genetic material. As we age, telomeres gradually shorten due to natural cell division and environmental stressors, leading to cellular damage and aging-related diseases. It also has centromere. The centromere is a specialized region of a chromosome that plays a critical role in cell division. It serves as the attachment point for spindle fibers during mitosis and meiosis, which are responsible for separating the duplicated chromosomes into two daughter cells. The centromere contains unique DNA sequences and a complex array of proteins that ensure accurate chromosome segregation during cell division. It also has chromatid, 
are chromated is one of the two identical copies of a chromosome that are produced during DNA replication in the cell cycle. Each chromated consists of a single DNA molecule, which is tightly coiled around proteins called histones. The two chromatids are joined together at a region called the centromere, which plays a key role in the separation of the duplicated chromosomes during cell division. Once the chromatids have been pulled apart by the spindle fibers, they are considered to be individual chromosomes. Chromatids are essential for the accurate transmission of genetic information from parent cells to daughter cells. You can memorize that Q arm is long arm using a mnemonic. Q is a long line of people. Now let's discuss three chromosome forms which are metacentric, acrocentric and submetacentric. Chromosomes with the centromere in the middle are known as metacentric. Chromosomes 1, 3, 16, 19 and 20 are known as metacentric. Chromosomes with the centromere near one end are acrocentric. Chromosomes 13, 14, 15, 21, 22 and Y are acrocentric. Acrocentric chromosomes also has stock and satellite. Chromosomal satellite is the term given to that part of the end of a chromosome that is separated from the rest of the chromosome by a secondary constriction, while the primary constriction refers to the region of the chromosome occupied by the centromere. These satellite regions also contains nuclear organizer regions. Nuclear organizer regions are chromosomal landmarks that consist of tandemly repeated sequences of ribosomal genes. The rest are submetacentric, a chromosome whose centromere lies between its middle and its end. But closer to the middle, such as chromosome 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 17, 18, 22. You can memorize acrocentric chromosomes using a mnemonic 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and Y. Now moving forward. Positions of genes along chromosome arms are defined by region number from the centromere outwards. Chromosome, arm, region, band, subband and sub-subband numbers. For example, 12, Q, 24.32, refers to chromosome 12, long arm, Q, region 2, band 4, subband 3, sub-subband 2. So, it was all about this video. In our next video, we will talk about chromosome banding techniques. Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics only on scadia.com.